So this map, actually, this this is the one that I've got all the translations for. So anywhere here, I can tell you what it says, pretty much. Uh, how about all of it? <laughs> okay, so if you, okay, right, okay, we'll start then. Um, so it says the Nephilites are named Neptali after one of the ten tribes with a Hebrew name, and after the Danites, who by way of punishment were called the Danes of the Dark North. And it also says in the year 476, they were victorious in their battle against Perosa, and others call them incorrectly the Euthalites. So that's what that says. And then, you know, the ocean just below it actually says the Scythian Ocean, according to Plinius, has sweet water. And he also says it contains many islands. So, okay. water. so fresh water. Okay. Um, and then just beneath that, if you scroll down a little bit, keep going just a little bit more there you go Tabor there so right there it says Tabor or Tiber center of the area of the Tartars where once the holy books got lost yet they are united under one king who in 1540 first reached France and King Francisus and later at the initiative of Charles V was burned at the stake for his heresy because he had secretly endeavored to convert Christian kings to the Jewish religion now this this map still has some really cool stuff. So if you go to where Azareth is, we'll uh, carry on with this. Azar Azeroth. <laughs> there you go, Azareth. <laughs> this one says here the ten tribes retreated and changed from the Tatar or Tartar area to Scythia. Since then they are called the Goths or the Gothans, confirming God's highest glory. And here lies the splendid kingdom of Cathay. So nice. okay, so and Cathay is what became China. Well, apparently, but you can see Cathay's there and China's right, right beneath up north. It. Mm. Yeah. So, but then right beneath it at Argon, it says Argon. Uh, I'm like, this is. Are you sure this isn't a Tolkien map? <laughs> so this one it says once there was in Asia. Oh, in fact, you know what? Saying that there's actually a place here called Summon Gul. Now, if that doesn't sound like Mordor. What well, uh, is I don't know if it's on really? this one, yeah, really? but yeah, there is one place, yeah. But anyway, so Argon wow. once there was in Asia a Christian kingdom known to Prester John and D. Thomas founded it in this place so that it was in contact with the Church of Rome and it was here subjected to the Church of Rome through Prester John of Africa before it was defeated by the Goths. It was known as Crive Remove, Cry or Crive, Crive, like C R I V E. And then R O M O V E, like Romove. So again, it's really interesting because I I don't know if it's obviously Absolutely. referring yeah. to the actual Rome or if it's trying to say that there was another Crive Romove that got defeated. Ah, okay. So that's by Goths. So does Romanov mean from not, Rome? But... Is that what Romanov means? That they're from uh, Rome? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty certain. So, so the rules. Well, no, it's Romani. Romani is from Rome. Sorry, Romani is Rome. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Romanov, though, could be just the, the Russian version, couldn't it? Exactly. That's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, it? 100% it is. Well, the thing is, as well, is you've got to remember that uh, Constantinople was actually the center of the Roman Empire for most of it, and then the Greek Empire. So, And it was called Rome upon the Bosphorus. So when they talk of Rome, are they talking they about Constantinople? Rome, yeah. Well, you look at Rome in the 1800s, and it was destroyed. It was just well, like yeah, destroyed. it was buried. There's a few more as well. Turkestan, which if you go to the left, um, which is nowadays known as, uh, well, not nowadays, but it was known as Kazaki, just there, Turkestan. So this bit, again, is really interesting because it says the this area is from when the 10 tribes as allies living on this side of the mountain range were called 900 years ago by the Persians to fight the armies of Ismail the Muslim. Now, Ismail is uh, uh, Abraham's son, as in the prophet. Ishmael, wow. and he's supposed to live in 1600 BC. This says 900 years 900 prior to years this ago. map, so, so that means that... 700 AD. How the hell was Ishmael alive in 700 AD? If you look at the top, just um, follow see, the Volga wow. River from the Caspian there on the left. So you see that, yeah, just follow that little river up, and at the top, you can see a place called Bulga just there under your hand. Yeah, now yeah, that, oh, Bulgar, yeah, yeah. That's Bulgaria, the original Bulgaria. Oh, wow. really? The original? Yeah, yeah, yeah the that original. Is... I found a map where it even had Bulgaria written across there. So when they've got moved on, now they've taken over Bulgaria. Well, that's why it's because it's the Bulgarians. The yeah, Bulgarians. the Bulgarians, right? Makes I'm more bold. sense. But okay, so I it's the, the Bulgarians, like the Hung Hung Aryans, 
oh. Tata Aryans, Baba Aryans. They're all Aryans. Aryan. That's, that's yeah, they're all, with, all Aryans. Everyone's an Aryan. But that's where it comes from. The, so they've added the R, and um, so it's Tatar, for example. So they've added that R. And I thought, wait, what if they've done that with Barbarian as well? So you take that yeah. first R out. That gives you Baba Aryan, Father Aryan Muslims. But the Barbarians, for example, so they've turned that into Barbaria, right? So you imagine North, North Africa to be Muslim because it's come from the Middle East. But it's not because remember it was supposedly un under control of the Roman Empire, so they were following the north of Africa was part of that, and they were following the Roman stuff. Then when Rome fell, these Goths or Tartarians or they jumped over the pillars of Hercules, uh, took over this area of North Africa and settled their capital there, and they became known as the Baba Arians. They brought Islam from the north. Okay. So you know the the Islam came with them from Germany across Spain and down into into North Africa. It didn't come from the Middle East. 